What's up, Buck fans? Mark with Roblox Talk back with you again. I want to talk about Dave Canales and this offense that the Buccaneers are going to have this year. If you look at it, no one really knows what this offense is going to look like besides Dave Canales, Brad Idzik, and that's about it. I mean, yes, the coaches are learning the installs right now, but they're going to have to slowly teach that to each other and then teach it to the players because he's he's not been here that long just yet. So what is it truly going to look like? I want to go over that because uh, Baker Mayfield was on pretty much everywhere the last past week since he had his press conference here in Tampa Bay. And he went on a Buccaneers podcast and he mentioned some things you're going to see. And he mentioned him in the and a couple names of other head coaches that are really, really good in this game. And I want you to kind of listen in and hear how highly he already thinks of Dave Canales. We don't even know Dave Canales very well yet. He no. just hired a while ago, and we haven't really had a lot of interaction with him. But I like what you said in there. You get the impression already that he plays to the strengths mm-hmm. of the players on the roster. Can you speak to that a little bit? Yeah. I mean, there's I've had a few coaches that are, that are very similar uh, philosophy-wise and just conversation with him, you know, Lincoln Riley, Sean McVay, uh, guys that are like that that um, – you know, they have their own system, they have their own beliefs, they have their foundation, right? But they also know that uh, their players might not be doing whatever that foundation is the best of their ability. So he's going to tailor the offense to whatever they're great at, and he's going to make sure they're in a good spot to have success. Sounds amazing. That's something that Plus and I talk about all the time. I mean, we want to see in Tampa Bay and Pewter and Red, like we want to see that come to fruition. And hopefully with Dave Canales being mentioned with Lincoln Riley and Sean McVay, I mean, he sounded like Sean McVay with how forward he was with his, his speaking, how direct, how clear and focused it was. I mean, it sounded like the smartest guy in the room. And that's what we, we want to see here in Tampa Bay and to get this offense moving forward. I know people are sad Tom Brady's gone. Yes, the level of quarterback play is going to go down tremendously. But if your head co- your your offensive coordinator can game plan way better than what we saw last year by utilizing these players and their their talents to their best at their advantage. Maybe we can see some things. Is Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Russell Gage, Rashad White, how can they be used as puzzle pieces or chess pieces and move them around to be deceptive and not give away what you're going to do every first down, <laughs> right? So that's it's the beginning right there. So that's just him talking how how he sees him. Baker Mayfield sees Dave Canales. He didn't mention anything of the Cleveland Browns, obviously, because it was bad taste in his mouth. Cleveland and Panthers, obviously not, but – Let's move forward. What else? How is this offense going to look like? You know how highly he thinks of him. What is this offense going to look like overall? Like, is it going to be pass heavy, run heavy? Let's break that down a little bit more. When you talk about this new offense, you made a comment, and we've heard about it before. It's going to be run oriented. Mm-hmm. So as a as a quarterback, how does that affect you, and how do you like that, that philosophy? You have to be able to run the ball to win in this league. Uh, to uh, to sustain success, and so uh, for me, it's it's very important. And when you want to have your play action game, uh, it, it's got to marry up with that. And then it always makes your big guys happy when you keep a couple bootlegs and, and keepers off of that to move the pocket, move the uh, the platform to throw. Uh, it makes them happy, makes their job easier. So as long as you keep the big guys up front happy, uh, everybody's happy. He's speaking facts right there. I mean, you got to run to win in this league. You don't have to run. Every down, you don't have to be the, the Ravens' way of running the ball, but you got to be able to efficiently run in this game. And the Seattle Seahawks, the Rams, they do it deceptively. I use that word because they're moving people around, and the defense has to react to that. And if you get them reacting and thinking, they're not just sit keying in on one spot. I think that's what, something that Dave Canales is going to bring to this offense, which will revitalize this running game. Because if you think about just last year, we dead last in, in the running game. Dead last. Think about that. And then the year before that, we had the least amount of runs ever in a game. Ever. You're talking all the time. So hopefully this can revitalize the running game because guess what? Baker Mayfield is one of the best quarterbacks when there's play action fakes. When there's play action, that's where he's dead on. And if Dave Canales is going to be running the ball more effectively and people are going to have to react to that, Baker will be able to eat from that. So let's hope for an improved running game improvements for that because that'll help with our quarterback play i don't want quarterback baker mayfield to have all of it on top of his shoulders we did that to tom brady there's no way in hell we're going to be able to do that with baker i know a lot of people have concerns with his interceptions so don't don't put it on his shoulders like that let's get him in the best opportunity for him i know we can talk all day about mike evans chris godwin utilizing them in certain ways but 
I like this run heavy offense and initially is it just going to be run 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 like Todd Bowles kind of thought things were going to be I don't think it's going to be like that I think it's going to be more creative and the illusion of runs that will help out the passing game other than that guys let me know down below do you like this this form of offense we went from just no risk it no biscuit all the time supposedly right to now we're going to be a run heavy team what is that going to look like what are those offensive linemen going to look like or is that a different mold do they have to be different because we were just literally pass blocking for three or four straight years so I don't know. These are big questions you got to ask. And is it going to be a different guy you draft in the draft? Considering we're at 19, do we draft a more athletic left tackle or right tackle to fill in that void for Donovan Smith? A lot of questions, a lot of cool things that are going into this. Dave Canales, your offensive coordinator, Baker Mayfield, likes him a lot. You guys like him a lot. Let us know down below in the comment section. Like the video if you haven't just yet. With that said, till the next one.